Alright, so this is uh, the intro to episode 2 of Know Your Vanguard. I've got these four idiots with me this time around because you know, the other four idiots are still holding their sides from the last episode. Um, this is Idiot 1, Idiot 2, Idiot 3, and Trollface. So, um, things are going to be going differently this time around. Um, there's actually a punishment this time, unlike episode one, where, you know, we did it for laughs and it worked out pretty well. Um, so, at the end of the... Well, the way this is going to work this time around is that uh, the same idea will be giving out points to each player. Um, this time in the form of, you know, your favorite cards. Because, you know, if you, they're not your favorite cards, you wouldn't be watching this channel anyway. Um, and, yeah, the, basically the punishment is the person with the least cards, or the winner, will be doing something to the person with the most cards, or the loser, involving, you know, my favorite food item in the world. Cream! Not actually. Uh, close, but no cigar. Um, so yeah, we'll this game? Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll be starting fairly soon. We'll fade it out and fade it and whatever. And yeah, your mom's a bitch. Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Know Your Vanguard. I am host Pinsir uh, Knight Hamsuke. Uh, and today we are reading more uh, story, backstory from uh, Vanguard community. So we start today with uh, Rizard Rana Wundeus. As heavy armored infantryman who go through difficult terrain. He is mobile infantry, wizard man, and specialize in short range combat. There is no method to avoid countless raids it attack with from overhead in its confusing assault. So he is pretty good, wizard man. <coughs> Dragon dancer Monica. She sounds like that uh, person from King Street. That's uh, Sturika. Let's just take tips. Very good, very good dance. Very flexible. <laughs> A passionate Buriti dancer. See, I told you. Who serve as rear unit for Kagaroko. Oh, she liked Bakdo. <laughs> We're having a turn. <laughs> she. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, wait, so. Oh, no. <laughs> Dancing with hidden magical power, or in our world, she called it her ass. Not only is she able to inspire her fellow troops, and very well at it. She is a human who can make those who fell stand back up. So she's legit, right? <laughs> See, I'm used to your jokes, so they don't affect me. But your reaction to mine. She is human who can make those who fell stand back up and stand erect. Which are said to be. <laughs> I'll just continue on because this is uh, MA 15 plus episode. <laughs> Demonic Dragon Madonna, Joker. So Madonna is Dragon? I thought she was a material girl. She's perfect. The mother of all evil dragon who dwell within the Empire. She is protected by squadron directly under her control, known as Evil Dragon Bodyguard. Spawning the Evil Dragon, they all follow her, wielding uh, immense strength without question. 
So yeah, the woman who sing Material Girl is Dragon <laughs> with bodyguard she breathed the fire and uh, a lot of things. Next one. This is all uh, no. <laughs> Wreath the Vassal. Sorry, can you replay that? Wreath the Vassal. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> the servant of the famous reborn and Durivan Sodoran. She carefully makes every bullet handmade, considering each to be first class piece of art. Injecting magic of the highest grade and purity. I see. What's in that? She's... This is very suggestive stuff, guys. Don't do it at all. At least when you... Like we try to when you... Please, my show. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But yes, when you inject at home with highest purity, use uh, protection, um, plastic bag, or <laughs> if uh, you have money, maybe you know the uh, rubber. But the sister Chokorat. Is she at home? Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> Yeah. An agent who is member of fighting nationwide religious order Bata the sister. She always worked with Mocha and Coco as team of three. That's pretty good. They're not they're not racist. They get the brown, black and chocolate color people. Sorry to watch people out. The racist against white people. Oh, Though she is coward, she possesses incredible physical power due to the fact she can carry a heavy machine gun on her own. Definitely prop gun. When she fights, she is able to fire 50 caliber bullets around mercilessly. Butter Sister Coco, agent who is a member of Butter Sister, I just read this shit. <laughs> Possess rather sadistic personality. She is well known as dangerous person who enjoy attacking enemy too much. VDSM. <laughs> what? Look at I got. No, I'm staring because you are holding it in very well. Not like last time you were pissing yourself like this. <laughs> Better of any. Wait, wait, talk about the book some more. <laughs> Better of any. Flower of a with produce a mysterious aura. It's born from various flowers. They wear clothes that resemble flowers of a bird. Their accuracy using flowers to de divinate the future is roughly 80%. So they're just part of crazy people. If she make negative prediction, she will fall into sorrow. So depressed emo hippie. It's both the best of Gen X and Gen Y. <laughs> Silent Tom. An agent who belongs to the covert corporate espionage team of Oracle Think Tank. Shit, that was a lot to say. <laughs> it's using his spectral body. It sees confidential information and disables security. Making him active in many quarters of his trade. While boasting successful career in his life after death, 
he is still carry his bad habits concerning women, causing them to mess around with the ghost of busty names. Excuse me, my telephone just ring. Are you answering? Is he not hired? Are you taking a break while he actually does this, or is he doing this part of the joke? Sorry, my uh, massage moved back to our. Uh, I'd like full body massage. It make me so tight. Old men, old men need to be tight. senses hint of its masters. It is despised and it is associated with misfortune, and it is said to have appeared in practically every war that has ever occurred. Next, uh, you don't have to cry. <laughs> Peter Rose. The daughter of beautiful vampire who appear in the full at the night of full moon. She has a habit of drinking too much. <laughs> Sounds like a bad version of Paul. <laughs> yes. I like this good. Broad that is common in young turned vampire. So she is a cannibal. She drink broad of vampire. Don't make sense. That's oh. a single word for us. That makes sense. <coughs> Such that the victims are said to number in the hundred. She tears apart prey with her sharp cross, relishing and the overflowing blood that spill over her body, which makes her look adorable, innocent, and absolutely horrifying at the same time. So it's like a scary lolly. So she is she is like she is basically embodiment of if Amy Winehouse is vampire. <laughs> so something yes. shocked me. Yes, the, our, the, only, the only one laughing is the other white guy. It's a funny joke. Too soon, too soon. Yeah. Amy Winehouse, too soon. I kind of really watched that first episode with you in it. I kind of really watched that. <coughs> maybe you should read your hamster. Brasta Duck. Yes. Brasta Duck. The African American half brother of Brasta Brick. But they don't show it because uh, Japanese anime. They want everyone to be Japanese. They want everyone to be Yellow. Yellow. Yellow is color of pride. A bit cream. That explains that to me. Brasta Duck. Unable to demonstrate the courage demanded by the sword-like weapon, he had walked the road to hell powered by his amplified negative emotions. In other words, he's pretty emo. Ah, I thought it was a chick that said he's PMS. Uh, emo, PMS. Yeah, same thing. Uh, same thing, but now feminists will hate him. Oh. Like, yeah. Thank you, hate more. Hate me, hate me more, the same. I am I am traditional stubborn Japanese man. But you get more ratings. Okay, no more talking. Subscribe, I think it's oh, come on, how is it? By the way, subscribe please. <laughs> His hatred is aimed at the person called Brastabrate, his white brother. <coughs> who could use the weapon he, has, he was unable to activate, causing him to take up the mantle of Brasta Drag. And under the guide of the Dragon of Hell, he plans to end things with his fated rival. Uh, okay, okay. All right, uh, uh, round three, after that abysmal round two, which is shit because <laughs> these boys are 
crepit making reaction. Um, this round is critical trigger round. Where every every reaction count as two points. No each knee. Oh knee. Is redirection allowed? You do that, wait, what actually are you actually doing? That's not Russian. Uh, it's mixed. It's like a first degree drunk. I'm like uh, Neapolitan ice cream. I am both white, brown, and pink. Midnight of British! So, next card. So, now, yeah, two point per reaction. So, be careful. <coughs> Ura hoop copy bro. A natural and somewhat airheaded student that always walks around with a strip hura hoop in hand. He exists as mascot of university who hears people just by being there. No matter how bad jeering and arguments get, he appears. The atmosphere becomes automatically much calmer. As a student of university, he is not only cute, but also extremely bright. Though that story is something that never leaves the realm of rumors. Next card is a rivet, but I think is worth it. Vincir Knight Homsky. Again? Again. My door is for everybody. Apprenticing student who aims to one day become top crash sharpening master. That's very ambition. Sharpening master in great nature is known as pencil sharpening master. <laughs> so, just do a quick shit again. You're fucked. Yes. No more talking. One more time. Critical. <laughs> Can I use pen redirect on you? Is that worth it? Yes. At the university, Students of all shapes and sizes. In the room. So it is essential that engineer be able to make stationery by hand. So you know what they say. Pen is mightier than the machine gun. Even though he's just a fledgling, his passion is second to none. Even now he has begun to sharpen pencils as wonderful as his seniors. <laughs> Next card. Silver the Navigator. A resourceful navigator and shipmate who has many achievements on many ships. He's a really, really good seaman. Since the days he was but just a human, Though it is said that he was so handsome that in, even angels admired him, he is notorious as womanizer and skirt chaser, since he has never been seen with the same woman once. Sounds like Asian Danny. Ho ho! Have you ever tried reason? Silver because of his silver silky hair. <coughs> but as to his real name, there is nothing in the world that exists that knows it except me. His name is Retro. Uh, his name is Sophie. Sound like Asian then, not Asian. That's right, he's not yellow. He rowdy boast why he became vampire. And that reason is... I 
I want to keep myself from the <laughs> most gorgeous state of my life. This is... Yo, what? Tell a friend to put phone down. Huh? In the middle of yeah. storytelling with what your grandfather. <laughs> yeah, what? Put your pants back on. Why? Yeah, I'm working fast. Oh! 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 Nah, I'm just sitting Oh! Ugh! I try to show Bruno 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 <laughs> what do I get double triple for one? <laughs> Seriously, take one back at least. No, <laughs> You can get extra one. I will take the extra one because I have people's phone, but still. One six now. Okay, so, two more. Let's review the numbers. Okay, one, two more. Seven! Two more, wait, wait, wait. Eight. A critical hit angel. A newbie nurse who work in the general world. Mm-hmm. Capable of to reaping and falling even when there's nothing to cause it. She's considered to be thick-headed and incompetent. Sounds like most women I marry. Despite the fact she is absolutely incompetent. She is very popular with the patient. Due to the fact that she shows no favoritism. So yeah, she's hot. Mm. And she's hardworking and cheerful. When she's stripped and fall, everyone wonders, how can she fly like that if she was running? So it isn't hard to see these blunders from her failing to apparently pay attention could said to be her charm. Last card. Last row. I have to go to a tiebreaker. Guardian Saint could be straight of us. We might as well talk about the elephant in the room. Shall we? Exactly. Ouch. A sacred beast said to protect ancient ruin, where one of the armors of the seven sacred beasts lay resting, the armor of the purple elephant. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> Come on, I'm the woman <laughs> Fine, because you're sick. And, so the one, and because I want him to leave. <laughs> no, no, not this one. Yeah, give him to No. Oh, off to off. I hang up that one. Oh, what a dream. You disturb my story time. Dishonor! <laughs> That's the name one. of the <laughs> He has continued to protect the decayed ruins for over a long period of several hundred years from swarms of raiders and bandits from other countries. It is said these guardian and sacred beasts were born alongside the pieces of armor, only to pledge royalty, only to the master chosen by the armor. He, in accordance to the legend, will head to the battlefield along with sacred sorcerer, who become his new master. That is the end of this episode of No Yovanga. And the scores are? The, we, to now we will tarry the scores starting with the Trophies. Trophies. <laughs> yeah, nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Nine. Idiot three. Idiot three is eight points. So you apparently you don't suck as bad as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you suck? Idiot 2, how many points? Eight. 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 Eight.
eight point. And uh, idiot one with the uh, boss and the uh, telephone ringing. Actually, no respect. No respect for Erda. Okay, we don't lose a go. Four, five, six, seven point. Oh, I said it was a close game. Close game. So now we make punishment good you to have your blessing. <laughs> It's gonna be fun <laughs> for me, especially because I am bored. <laughs> we don't want the books so, to get dirty. I know that. <laughs> so, idiot number one. <laughs> okay. Stop it! 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 Sorry, but I have a full speech. Wasabi! It's good. Are you, are you guys serious? Yes! I was joking. <laughs> it's alright. Oh my. There is no joking in house club. I'm scared. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. So why, why are you talking? You won. No, he, <laughs> won. he won. But he's not eating. <laughs> So, Technically, he's winner. So, who's the winner here? Oh, that's a winner. No, oh, you're so fucking out. Oh, I was hoping for a southern death round. Oh, oh my oh. god. More, more, more. More, more. Your telephone ringing again. Oh. <laughs> if you answer your telephone, I will stick this up your nose. <laughs> So now, by the power vested in me by the great pencil sharpening master of the world, <laughs> idiot one, you may now feed the troll face the cupcake. <laughs> Are you scared? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Restrain him! Restrain him! <laughs> Please clean up the place. Of Not course. It. Not it. Not it. Not it.